<laughs> so literally so comma and then the hook is a u o so we're gonna begin with h so the shorthand character for h is a dot written above the following vowel so in this case this word right here this word is heat how is it heat well this is an e and the t is an upward stroke Now the dot, the H, is a simple dot above the vowel, right there. Let me try this again. So, heat. Starts with the H, start first. And you won't circle up. There you go, heat. We have the unfortunate word, hate, which is a, uh, you know, A, a circle going around and then an upward stroke for the T. H A T. Hmm, sort of like hot, but you know, shorthand is really feel. You know, it's helping take notes more effectively. So if you're in a dialogue or a speech and you're talking about a hat, then this would work. But if you're talking about hey, then this would work as well. And then hold. You don't pronounce the W, so it's the dot, and the U, the O, and then the L. There we go. Because remember, L is a longer stroke. You got the U, the O, really. Whole. Whole. It works. It starts to add up, y'all. <laughs> so next we have the omission of minor vowels. Now, sometimes a vowel in a word is slightly pronounced or slurred. Such a vowel may be omitted if it does not contribute to the speed or legibility, all right? So we have the word leader. The vowels are omitted because, you know, you're not gonna mix in like an E, A, and a, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Remember, it's all about speed, being able to catch the words before they go. Hera. Remember that? And even. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> even down the wrong way, streets. <laughs> so. Number so let's go with punctuation and capitalization. This. Let's get that uh uh there. It is rather this. Period. Paragraph is denoted by one, two parentheses. It's denoted by top top. A question mark. It's not a standard question mark because that involves you taking up your pen and actually doing something in this dot. Once you're writing uh, this little dot here, but then you're like, you know, talking about heat, it just makes a whole different word. No. Question mark is a simple X. Dash. I'm gonna dash it across. And hyphen. Normally this, but that looks too much like N, you know, N is the same thing. So it can't be that. So hyphen is two dashes. There you go, simple. For the other punctuation marks, the regular longhand forms are used. Capitalization is in indicated by two short upward dashes underneath the word to be capitalized, all right? Cool. All right, so this part is gonna be a little difficult for the Instagrammers, but there is a YouTube line and I'll put it at the bottom. Um, so, because of the speed of stories, you know? Speed of stories, just talk, talk, talk. Yeah, well. So, what we're gonna write is the freight 
rate is low. Okay. So I'm start off with, you know, you know, the, you know. the end of the sentence all right because remember f is the long comma dome r what was r again yeah yeah it's the little scoop right there coming back up and e is really pronounced like a a because we say freight not fright or something like that so remember a is a large circle and then T is an upward stroke. So freight and then right, start across, A, T. Now is, you can write down, that's like, you don't need to really shorthand. Like, you know, little small words like the and is, you don't need that. And then low, and it's just the L, and then the O. Now, if you were talking about freight rate being low, that'd be, you know, that's how you write it out. Now, if you're talking about something else, the frat or something is low, then like, you know, just keep in mind it, you know, it's all, it's all, you know, like it can have subjectivity because, you know, of um, so much the words overlapping and the omitting of letters and everything. But if you're taking down notes for school, if you're taking down notes at a meeting, if you're taking down notes at, you know, at anything, maybe you're watching a movie and you want to like come back to it or something like that. You can write quickly in a shorthand way. So it does come in handy and it simplifies your time quite a bit. Um, let's go another practice here. Number two, let's go a short one. Let's see. Lee wrote me a note. So remember L, Lee. And you're gonna capitalize. Remember, you capitalize by you capitalize a letter by putting two dashes underneath it, two short upward dashes. So you wanna go up with it. All right. So Lee wrote the W and L. The U, the O. Sorry, I keep mixing up the O because like the O is a U, but I keep mixing it up. And then an upward dash up, denoting the T. You know. And the R's, where's the R? Where's the R? Oh yeah, the R is the letter going up. <laughs> but you don't, oh, sorry, I'm bugging. The R is not the W, this is the R, wow. Wrote, so it's like rot, but wrote, you know? You know, unless you were talking about, you know, if you're talking about Lee wrote me a note, you're not gonna read it as rot, you know? <laughs> and then we have me. Remember, that one's easy. Long M across and then a circle here. Me, a note. You're not gonna shorthand A, because you know, it just looks like a circle. So you write A and then note. Remember, short dash across, O, T, note. See how similar it looks to rote? How note and rote look alike? So this is rote. But it's a longer go up, then the O, and then up T. All right, but like note is a dash across, and then the O, and then the upward T. T, O, T, O. Well, this is the R, and this is the N. And you don't pronounce the E in either scenario. There you go. One more, one more for the road. So let's say the train, the, <laughs> the train, the rain made me late on May 10th. 
you know, you want to write your note, your boss a note, but you know, you know, I don't think you do shorthand. But if you keep notes to yourself, like a diary or a journal or something, or you're just doodling in class and you're like, don't really or if you want to impress your teacher, write that in shorthand and be like, here you go. Teacher asks, what's this? This is the reason why I was late. Well, what's the reason you were late? No why questions. And how come you're late? And then you just say, it's in the note. <laughs> So, the rain made me late. Once again, you're not going to write the. You're not going to shorthand the because it's just like, it's the, you know? Rain. Get the R in there. Rain made me late. On May, and it's capitalized. Ten. And paragraph. That's the rain. Ah. Rain. Oh, that was terrible rain. <laughs> Rain is the N right there. A could have been a better A, could have been a better N, but remember, shorthand is about speed. You don't pronounce the I, obviously. The rain made, and D is an upward stroke. Long stroke across. Made. And no E. Me. Me. And E. Late. Remember, L is a long stroke, like a check, but longer than what would be for the R. And the R is over here, shorter one, but whatever. <laughs> so, made me late. A, T. Yeah, it could have been better. It doesn't look like it's terrible. There you go. Sure, not the paper now. <laughs> so, L. I don't even know if I'm on it. Yeah, <laughs> lateness. I am late. Well, I'm not late. But... T, and then E. Late. Because it looks like that. Late. Late. On. With the trains running, it's okay to film it. On, and you're not gonna like, you know, on is easy, you know. There you go. And 10. Then tap, tap. And that's it. That is intro to shorthand. Right there, that is lesson one. That's the basics. Um, what's it called? So, just quick reveal. We went over S and Z. It's a comma, A, it's a circle, you know, S, no, oh, we'll erase this to F. F, it's a long co comma down, V, swung so straight down, downward stroke, um, E is a tiny little circle, N, straight line across, M, a longer straight line across, T is an upward straight line. D is a longer upward straight line. O is a hook. R is a check. And then L is a longer check. H is anything, is a dot over the, the following vowel.